This is a palace guy. But what is a palace guy, really? Welcome to this beautiful planet. My name is Alan, and today we're going to talk some more about the palace cat. So this is the palace cat. It's also known as Manul, not sure how, how to pronounce that honestly. They're about the size of your domestic house cat, so 2 to 5 kilos. Uh, that's 4 to 11 pounds, so I guess a little stockier than most house cats. And they got that nice thick fur. And you might notice their ears are set pretty low on their heads. And this is so they can peer over rocks without being seen. For the most part, you will find palace cats in Central Asia. The core population resides in Mongolia and China. However, you can find them in a plethora of other countries as well, as you can see on the screen right now. The areas they like to reside in are generally temperate grasslands, mountain steep, seri-arid deserts and stuff like that. And they can actually be found up to 5,000 meters above sea level. So that's uh, about 16,400 feet above sea level. So they, they get, get up there pretty high. They do prefer to stay in rocky and ravine areas in order to avoid predators. And they're also known to use other animals' dens. So, for example, if a marmot dug a den, the palace cat might use this to keep warm, to feed, mate, give birth, and even raise their young. Like most felines, palace cats are polygamous. This means that the male will mate with several different females during the mating season, which is usually between December and March. So the gestation period for the palace cat is 74 to 75 days. Uh, gestation period is how long the uh, mother ki uh, carries her young in her belly. And when they're born, it's, uh, the litter size is usually three to four kittens. And these kittens will stay with their mom for about four to five months. Uh, the father of the kittens will not have anything to do with it. It's all up to the mom to uh, raise, raise her young. So in general, the uh, palace cat will live eight to nine years in the wild, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, while the average lifespan in captivity is about 12 years, while I believe the record is between 15 and 16 years in captivity. In general, palace cats are solitary animals, so they like to stay alone. So they will hunt their prey on their own and usually they'll uh, use ambushing to hunt their prey so they'll sit and wait and hide and wait for a prey to come by but they might also stalk a prey which means they will follow it around or flushing it while that's kind of when they run into a, some grass or something like that to flush it out the food they eat are generally small rodents so you got hamsters marmots animals like that, sometimes even pikas and uh, yeah, all kinds of small rodents, but they might even eat a lizard or a bird if they can catch it. One thing the palace cat has to look out for though is bigger predators like wolves, foxes, and even eagles and other big raptors. All these animals are big enough to take down the palace cat and eat them, so a palace cat really needs to rely on their camouflage and also hide in crevices in the mountains and you can see their camouflage is pretty effective so they're very good at hiding. Unfortunately like with many other cat species the cat, palace cat has to deal with a lot of destruction in their habitat. Sometimes there's also a loss of prey species, they might be hunted and even even sometimes poisoned especially for people using rodent poison. The palace cat might grab a dead rodent or a half dead rodent and then in turn it will be poisoned. So this is one of the reasons why the palace cat's on the IUCN red list, where it's currently under least concern with the uh, declining status. And they're also on the CITES Appendix 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the palace cat, I left some links in the description so you can check out the sources I used. 
Also, if you want me to do a more in-depth video about the palace cat, feel free to comment that in the comment section. You can also uh, leave a comment if you want to see something else. So I'm looking forward to hear from you there, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya! My name is Alan, and today...